Hi, I'm Evan, and welcome to the RV Cooking Show, a place where I can share with you my passion for RVing and my love for recreating regional food specialties from all across the country right here in my RV site. Today I'm in beautiful Cortez, Florida, on the west coast of Florida, just about a mile in from Anna Maria Island, and I've got a special guest. Joining us today is Paulette from Holiday Cove RV Resort. Hi, Paulette. Thanks for coming over today. Thanks for having me, Van. This is a beautiful resort. Tell us a little bit about it. Thank you. Uh, my husband and his partner purchased it a few years ago, did a total renovation, uh, brick pavers, some new buildings, some renovated buildings, and it's just turned out wonderful. It is wonderful. It is lush. It's landscaped so nicely. I love the fact that all of the sites are paved and I also love walking over to the canal. How nice. The canal is beautiful. There's some water sites as well. There's 33 boat slips, plenty of wildlife back there. There's manatee lumbering around. As a matter of fact, I came by boat today from Sarasota. It took us about 40 minutes. Wow, that's terrific. Yeah. I know our neighbor brings his kayak and he heads down to your boat launch every day and he comes back in the afternoon just happy as can be. Be. It's so peaceful out there. It's wonderful. Mm. One of the things that we love about being here is the proximity to Anna Maria Island. We're what, three quarters to a mile away from the shore. We like to walk or we like to bicycle down there. There's lots to do. Anna Maria is wonderful. There's no commercialization, no high rises. It's just old Florida where you can just put your flip flops on and just enjoy. Mm. Now we like to take the trolley. We've taken the trolley. It's free that runs up and down Anna Maria Island. And talk about old Florida. We headed all the way down to St. Armand Circle on the trolley the other day. Wow. Yeah, St. Armand Circle is wonderful. If you get down that way, it's beautiful. There's higher end shops, restaurants, beautiful area. Now, you don't have to go down to St. Armand Circle for a great meal, though. Isn't there a special restaurant here on Anna Maria Island? Actually, the Beach Bistro is rated one of the best restaurants, uh, fine dining in the state of Florida. It's beautiful. It's wonderful food. Mm. Now, when we're camping, sometimes we don't even like to get in the truck. And one of the things we love about Holiday Cove RV Resort is the ability to go just across the street. We've got a breakfast restaurant, a couple other restaurants. We can go listen to music at night and just walk home. We've got homemade ice cream, two fish markets. We even have a maritime museum across the street. That's terrific. Yeah, it's, it's just a wonderful way to spend your uh, time. Mm, well, I am so glad you came over today and I'm getting hungry. So we're going to make some pressed Cuban sandwiches on the grill. And Paulette has brought her special Cuban version of cowboy caviar. Yes. Oh, I can't wait. Let's get cooking. You All ready? Right. Yeah. Good. Thanks. Today we're going to make a traditional Cuban pressed sandwich. We're going to make it on the grill. But if it's not grilling season where you're at or a grill isn't handy, you can certainly make these just as tasty and delicious inside on your stovetop. So let me show you how we're going to make this and what we're going to put in it. We're going to start with some Cuban bread. And you can buy this at your grocery or your bakery. But if you can't find Cuban bread, Italian bread or French bread works just as well. We're going to coat it with a little bit of mustard mayonnaise. That's what we used to call it when I was a kid, mustard mayonnaise uh -huh. mix. We're going to put on some dill pickles, some Swiss cheese. I've got some Serrano ham. And the Serrano ham is just a little bit salty and it's delicious. And I'm also going to put on some fresh pork that I picked up at the deli. It's Boar's Head brand. Wonderful brand down here. Yeah, it's a terrific yeah. brand. But if you can't find that at your deli, or if you have some pork roast left over from dinner last night, or even some pork loin, that works just great on these sandwiches. So let's get cooking. OK, wonderful. We're just going to take the bread and start out with the mustard mayonnaise. 2 thirds mustard, 1 uh, third mayo. Great, and we're just going to spread that all over. Yeah, I'm just going to get that all over. I like I like it a little mustardy, so. So next, we're going to put the Swiss cheese on. And I've sliced them kind of long. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put three long slices of Swiss cheese on our sandwich, just like that. Next is going to be some ham. Nice, generous portions of ham. Of course, some pork. Don't want to forget that. Looks delicious. I think the pork is what oh. makes it the Cuban sandwich. Yes. We're going to top it off with our dill pickle slices. Looks like this one is just about ready to put on the grill. Okay. The last thing we're going to do before we grill it though is we want a nice crusty crispy outside. We're just going to brush a little bit of olive oil right on the top of the Cuban bread. It's going to make oh, it delicious. Absolutely. It'll sizzle on the grill. 
Our grill is preheated on high. I'm going to turn it down to about medium so our bread doesn't burn while our insides get all melty and ooey gooey. And I'm going to put the olive oil side of the bread down on the grill. Just like this. I'm going to take my handy dandy barbecue flipper and this is the pressed part. I'm just going to press it right down like this. Okay, after we've pressed them down pretty well, we're going to close the grill. We've got the grill on about medium heat and we're going to let this sit for about 30 seconds to a minute. We're going to come back and we're going to press it again just to make sure it's nice and flat and pressed. Paulette's going to brush the top now with a little bit of this extra virgin olive oil and then we're going to flip our sandwiches over and you guessed it, we're going to press them again. Perfect. Right underneath and oh yeah. What do you think? Look, they look amazing. Uh, they smell great too. <laughs> Don't you wish we had smell-o-vision? <laughs> this is exactly how you want them. Nice and crispy. A little bit browned. Cheese is melting. Oh yeah. We close the grill about 30 seconds to a minute. We'll come and press them again and I'll be almost ready to eat. Well, now we're ready to make our salad and it looks so colorful and beautiful. It looks tropical. It is. It's just beautiful. This is our my version of the Cuban cowboy caviar, which my kids have grown very accustomed to. Oh, and I hear it made the family cookbook. It did. <laughs> it did. Our volume one, anyways. It was, it was wonderful. That's terrific. Uh, what we have is the black beans, red bell pepper, corn, and a diced avocado. Great. The dressing is just a quick little red vinaigrette. I like to add this right before we serve it. Okay. Mmm. Mm -mm. Start up, right? Yep. Give it a little toss. This looks so colorful and tropical. Nice about this too is it's not uh, mayonnaise based, so it just can. It's great to travel with and mm. eat for picnics. I can see stopping on the side of the road at a rest area and having this in the refrigerator yeah. and just enjoying this for lunch. Yes. Okay, Ooh. these look good, don't they? They do, they look amazing. <laughs> the bread is nice and crispy. Mm. The insides are all melted and warm and delicious. Okay, fresh off the grill. Well, here it is, our authentic pressed Cuban sandwich and of course, Paulette's Cuban cowboy caviar. Looks great. It looks and smells delicious. Mm. Well, you can find both of these recipes as well as information about Cortez, Florida and of course Holiday Cove RV Resort on our website. You know it, right? I do. www.rvcookingshow.com Thank you, Paulette, so much for being here today. It's been so much fun. Thanks for having me, Van. Oh, well, and thank you for being here. Look for us again next time right here, of course, on the RV Cooking Show.